Today, we are going to have a look at what FL Studio's new 2024 update adds to the DAW. All you have to do is open FL Studio and you will notice the first change. FL Studio now, much like other DAWs, shows your projects immediately so you can load into them upon startup. You also have options for new projects, most specifically the Chord Generator startup with Creator Chord. We have touched on this topic in prior videos, so I won't linger too long here. This feature allows you to generate random chord progressions from inside the piano roll. You have a ton of options for customization. You can choose your scale, range, and even said if you want the generator to be more conventional or adventurous in its generation of chords. The chord generator is easily my favorite feature in this new update. A new synth has been added called Kepler XO with some great preset sounds very retro, reminds me of playing Sonic at the arcade. However, it's only available in the All Plugins Edition. An effects plugin called Spreader has been added and it allows for stereo enhancement without ruining your mono sound. When the left and right channel come together, Spreader's effects will stop. You have three knobs to control everything. I haven't really played around with it yet, but it sounds pretty damn cool. Sorry if I'm all over the place, but FL Studio is also now able to support Clap Plugins, which is an open source plugin format. So if you have any Clap Plugins, make sure to scan for new plugins and they will definitely pop up. Other DAW users might laugh, but a feature I love is that I can now press shift and mouse wheel to scroll through the playlist. So satisfying. The tool buttons also don't have those annoying colors on them when I hover over them. Another new effect plugin is Low Lifter. This here, a bad boy, will add dynamics to your audio to give the feeling of a much stronger bass presence. Oh, let us not forget you can preview samples in the browser with key and tempo now. Your sample needs to have the correct metadata for this to work. I also nearly forgot to mention that the channel rack got a little bit more spice with note repeats. Now you can create hi-hat rolls with ease. Like seriously with ease. The higher I lift, the more note repeats. FL Cloud is unfortunately down at the moment. I wanted to check out the new FL Cloud plugins. 
um, they are having some sort of technical difficulties. I didn't go into it to find out what really is happening, but I'm sure it won't last long and maybe we can just check them out in another video. So I use Edison a lot and it now comes with a new feature to remove background music, aka the music from the bar downstairs from my apartment and keep the vocal. It works with the stem separation feature and is a rather useful tool for people who record in what we consider a noisy environment. I need some time out, I know that I told you that Maybe I would fly out, maybe we could chill, we could vibe out Like one more time, I didn't mean to lie but you made me Okay, I was gone by sundown I need some time out, I know that I told you that Maybe I would fly out, maybe we could chill, we could vibe out Like one more time Guys, that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.